Hey guys, so quickly before this video starts, I just want to tell you guys to follow my Twitter account. I'm gonna be posting there daily and you can ask me whatever you want over there. Let's get on with the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. So with Mixer's new rise in popularity over the past few weeks, a lot of people are now wanting to jump on this wave and start streaming themselves play video games on the side. So I thought it's only appropriate that I make a video demonstrating to you guys how to stream on Mixer. And this is what we're doing today. So sit back, relax and enjoy this quick tutorial. Alrighty, so there are only two requirements to be able to stream on any website. The first being a broadcasting software, which is basically a website that allows you to stream over the internet. For example, I'm going to be using OBS Studio. I highly recommend that you're going to be using it as well because it's super easy and super simple to use. And the second thing being an account on the website that you're going to be streaming in. And in our case, we're going to be streaming on Mixer. So go ahead and create a Mixer account. So after you create a Mixer account and get your hands on a copy of OBS Studio, which, you, which by the way, you can get for free use in the link in the description down below open up your obs studio software and follow my lead okay so after you open up obs your screen should look something just like this yours might be white not gray like i am but this is a personal preference you can basically enable dark mode in the program which i did because i prefer dark mode it's like the new cool thing now but anyways the first thing they're gonna be needing to do is basically add a scene and Chances are you already have a scene, but if you don't, go ahead and click this plus button and you'll be able to add a scene. Basically name your scene and press OK. It's pretty self-explanatory. After you add a scene, basically now you're going to have to be able to add one of these capture displays so you can basically capture your display. It's pretty self-explanatory again. I'm going to be deleting mine so I can create a new one and show you guys how to actually make one so all you, all you need to do is press this plus button right here and go ahead and select whatever display capture or game capture you want if you're only going to be streaming your basically your voice you can basically just add an image of your logo or something and basically broadcast the image as the basically the photo that you wanted and then broadcast your voice you can basically select whatever you want i'm going to be selecting my display capture because i'm not going to be displaying any games now so i'm going to be choosing display capture after that, I'm going to be naming it display capture. I'm going to be keeping it that. Make sure, make sure you create a new one and then name it whatever you want and then press OK. After that, this should show up. Choose one of the two monitors over there. If you have only one monitor, only one display will show up. If you have multiple monitors, all of them will show up over here. I'm going to be selecting my main monitor. You could choose whether or not you want to capture your cursor by checking or and checking this box. And all you have to do now is press OK and boom, this is your screen right now. And if your screen is a bit like stretched out or something like that, all you need to do is basically right click, right click over here and then go ahead and go to transform and basically fit the screen. There's a lot more settings that you, you need to basically mess with so you can get your stream to be perfect. But basically the next video is going to be the best mixer streaming settings. So stay tuned for that. Hit that bell icon so you basically get notified when that video goes up. What you need to do is basically go to settings by clicking that button right here. In general, you can basically now switch whatever. You can switch to dark mode in this general tab like just I did. Go ahead and move to stream. This is the tab that we're going to be interested in. Basically, in this drop down menu in services, go ahead and select mixer.com slash rtmp now on the server all you have to do is go ahead and select the closest server to your country and for me it's milan in italy so i'm going to be choosing milan okay so now for the next part which is basically get a new stream key into here which without it you cannot really stream to any website at all so this is really important all you have to do to get your stream key is basically open up your mixer account so go ahead and go to mixer.com and open up your account after that go ahead and do your logo right here which in my case is like a robot it's pretty cute go ahead and move your cursor to the broadcasting dashboard this new tab should show up it's loading my internet's slow so excuse me for that now all you have to do is go ahead and go and copy your stream key which is this one right here so an important warning here do not share your stream key with anyone because if anyone gets a hold of it they can basically stream on your account which is pretty disastrous all you need to do to copy it is press this copy button right here once and as you can see it will say copied and by the way this is where you're going to be able to edit your title your basically the game you're playing you can choose the language over here and you can like basically edit the share text over here. After you copied your stream key now, open, go back to OBS Studio, delete whatever you find in there. 
Chances are your stream key typing field is empty but mine is full so if you have it full go ahead and select it all and delete it and now all you have to do is right click and go ahead and paste it and that is your stream key and you don't even need to see it. After doing that go ahead and press apply and boom like that you can now stream to Mixer. How do you do that you might be asking so I'm going to be giving you a few tips on how to stream so in the video tab basically you're going to be uh, selecting the resolutions the fps mine is really low because my internet is really really low speaking of low internet i'll be making a video on how to stream with a super low internet on mixer really really soon after that go ahead and go to the output streaming and basically mess around with set mess around with the settings and find the best settings that you want again i'm gonna be assuming that your settings are perfectly fine in this tutorial because this tutorial is basically showing you how to stream to mixer not about the settings if you want the settings i'll be making that video really really soon stay tuned for that anyways after you edit the stream after you put the stream key in as i said press apply go ahead and press ok and like that you should basically have your monitor right here if you set up the sources if you're happy with your display basically all you need to do is start streaming by pressing start streaming the button mine is green because i have a plugin but it should be gray for you or white doesn't matter all you need to do is press start streaming and you should start streaming as you can see mine has a delay of 20 seconds so i'm going to be needing to wait 20 seconds but as you can see when i go to my channel the stream should be starting really 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 soon um, as you can see, it, the stream has already started, should start any second now, waiting, waiting, and boom, this is my stream. Again, it's super low quality because of my internet, as you can see, I'm streaming in 240p, but just because I'm streaming in super low quality doesn't mean you have to, this is only my case, but this is how to stream to Mixer, basically. Yeah, this is how to stream to Mixer, ladies and gentlemen. If this video has been helpful to you in any way possible, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any of the best settings for Mixer streaming videos. And let's see if we can hit 25 likes on today's video. Share this video with your friends if you think this will help them out. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.